Hello, and welcome back to the Medieval Pragmatism series in CK2 Monks of Mystics. So, I was looking through what I should be doing, and thinking about it, and I realized that I should really be choosing the plot to fabricate a claim on Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Because, you know, that's what we want. We're trying to fabricate one, but might as well plot for one as well. Unfortunately, while I, when I checked, no one wants to join us, because everybody likes our duke, and nobody likes us. So... But we'll leave it open for now, just in case someone ever does decide to like it. Does decide that they like us. We could, uh, well, let's see. No, we can't improve relations because we we want to fabricate a claim. Mm, it's decisions. It's tough. But anyway, let's unpause. Get the game going. We have the two counties. Two castles in this one. One in this. Hmm. Almost out of debt. Luckily, we did not get the Highway Robber Band, which is nice. In either of our provinces. Well, he says that right before the, uh... Okay, there we go. Murphy's Law didn't get me that time. But anyway. I've always been interested by Murphy's Law. It, it's just, it always seems to come true, but I'm sure it's confirmation bias. Anyway. So, I have a little bit of a story to tell. I was traveling down to Florida to visit a sick relative. And, uh, oh my god, the plane ride. It was just coughing nonstop. There was this group in front of me, and it was bad enough, like, the the people that were coughing were, ha like, hacking up lungs every, like, five seconds. I couldn't get through a five count before they started coughing again. And it was bad enough that the, the every single flight attendant on the flight went up to them and said, Hey, do you need, like, water or something? Because they were so concerned with the uh, the health of the passengers. But yeah, anyway. It was, ah, oh, it felt like I needed a hazmat suit. Let's see. Stressed, okay. Yeah, it was, it was pretty awful. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I get for uh, flying flying south. And there was a guy that was like wearing a, uh, a shirt that was like, the lower the altitude, the better the attitude. It's like, ah, no, that's not the right shirt for right now. Makes me want to do something violent. Anyway. Not really. Not really. Anyway, that's my little anecdote about plane traveling. Turns out, people coughing may be as bad as babies. In case you don't know, babies on planes, always, always bad. They always cry. Inevitably. But I do like babies. I mean, they're cute, but they, they cry a lot. Anyway, before I stick my foot in my mouth farther, let's just fabricate a claim on the Dukedom of Upper Burgundy. Come on, you can do it, Priestman. Our Chancellor, who hates us. Gain cramps. Very well. Not sure that did anything. Does our, our spy master does not like us. That's not a good idea. Let's instead have uh, this lady do it. That way, uh... Yeah, she's studying Austria. That way, he doesn't hate us. We've got food poisoning, alright. As long as you know what you're doing. Good, the plus two health is gonna very much help us. Survive this. Absolute rule law. Interesting. Oh, I'd love to go independent, but it would just it wouldn't serve any purpose. Devious plots are everywhere. Are we paranoid? No, looks like we're not. We're no longer food poisoned, though. That's nice. High taxes. Okay. It looks like we're at war with Pomerania for... To pay tribute. Why would you... Alright, that's dumb. I mean, you could, like, conquer the land. Or you could just make him pay tribute, sure. Anyway. AI. They are, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Let's, uh, what do we want? Let's go Inspiring Leader. And let's become a Paragon of Virtue. We are a dutiful cleric, after all. Oh, and we have a Council Position, Chancellor. Ah, uh, man, our good Chancellor died. Although he did hate us, so, you know, there is that. Continue fabricating on Burn. 
I'm letting speed get by, speed go by and as fast as I can, pretty much. I mean, I could go speed five, but I find that it, the pop ups start overwhelming you very quickly, especially on this computer. Looks like we have a large outbreak of disease down south. We've got smallpox and slow fever, and smallpox and consumption. It's a disease ridden world right now. Okay, we can get married to this quick woman. Good. I believe our last wife died of some sickness. Let's take the money. Alright, so let's see. These castles are both good. Doesn't have a barracks though. Could upgrade the militia training ground in this one. That's what we'll do. I believe we have the missile training ground upgraded in both of these. Yes. Alright. We just want troop count right now. It's the most important thing early game. Later game, you can go for like heavy cav and good troops, but and barracks and stuff like that, but early game, just get the uh, militia training grounds. We will train him to be a heavy defender. Good. Or heavy infantry leader. We are almost at. Come on. Come on. There we go. And now we'll save up money to hopefully fabricate a claim on the duchy. Speaking of which, what's the chances? 3%. It's a higher percentage chance that the noble just gets annoyed with us. Great. Speaking of which, you probably hate us. Yep. Patient versus wrath. You are patient and we are wrath. Great. And we're one-handed. When did that happen? Must have happened last episode. It's been a break in between recording sessions, so. Anyway. Against the trick cruel. We'll lose the prestige. Excellent. Wife is pregnant. Hopefully we don't have boys. Although if we do, it's not the worst thing. What is this? Holy way to make King ha Hegus of France pay tribute. Hmm. Very worthwhile effort there. Totally worth it to go to war with France just to make him pay tribute. I'm being sarcastic, of course. Uh, let's go... Sure. One ducat, just to make you happy. So he's got 10,000 men just kind of sitting on us. Where are our troops? There they are. 14,000 going around in the wrong direction. Oh, now they're coming back down. That was a nice little excursion. Hope you had fun. Maybe fight these guys off before they siege your land. That'd be helpful. And it looks like the fight's definitely going to go to us. Although they do have a hills defending advantage, but no. It was too strong. Uh, we'll give you the 20 ducats, sure. Salt it down the forts. Man, you really don't need much to get a uh, win a tribute war. Already at 68%. Plus 36% from the Battle of Charlu. It's this place, right? No? Yes, Bishop of Charlu. Alright, just chose that one to be name it, I guess. This will be fun. Okay. Focus your heavy troops. Smash the table and send them pieces flying. Of course, because we're a Wrath Lord. So you can add the castle as he assaults back his holdings, and he replenishes his troops. Not the best idea there, Mr. Holy Roman Emperor, who has 17,000 troops. So that's the entire army. No, 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 no. We've got some somewhere else. Here? Well, at least 2,000. Birth of the Assassins. Okay. Oh! 
was murdered by the orders of Judith, Judith von Klaw. Call. Was that her wife? No. No, no, no. So who killed her? Alright, whatever. So now we need to fabricate an heir. Uh, let's go to me. Get rid of Paragon of Virtue. Groom an heir. Get that fertility up. How is our plot going? Well, our plot power increased, but is anyone willing? No. We could improve relations with, like, this guy, Mayor of Heidelberg. No, we didn't become dull. Good. Ooh, Duchess of Holland. 30%. I think that might actually be a better idea. Instead of just trying to fabricate a claim, let's try to improve relations because it's such a higher chance with, say, the Duchess of Holland. Get her on our side. Let's see, is there anyone else that has a particularly high war score? I mean, uh, plot power. 12, 21. So it looks like the other dukes are the strongest ones. 21% count. Uh, no, I'm not going to mangle someone. The Bishop of Wurzburg. Is that all here? City of Bern. No. Where is Wurzburg? Isn't that like... That's over here. Why would you... Oh, because you're a direct vassal of a... Uh... Okay, that makes sense. Call for my court physician at once. Sickness and death await us. Uh, yeah, call for my court physician. Don't want to die. We'll have our air die. And this war is going swimmingly. By that, it means taking forever. And he's just killing off a bunch of troops. He's actually have going to have less troops than France. We might actually lose this war. It's pretty sad there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Holy Roman Emperor Man. Pretty sad. Salian. It's a pretty cool thing. Not as cool as ours, of course. The Habs von Habsburg. And there we go. Unfortunately, he's not quick. But he will be Marshal. And can we get rid of this yet? No. 92. Alright. The Bite Plot. Please with you. We would like to, you to back our plot. Who? Duke of Corinthia. Heir to the Duchy of Verona. Okay. We would like you. Oh, that's Corinthia. Okay. Back our plot to fabricate a claim for you. No. Absolutely not. Don't want you to be our duke. Even even more powerful duke. Fortunately, this isn't going so well. Uh, Adela. You're a strong lady. Yeah, make a move. It's good to be the count. And we will be close friends and train with them. Very good. Marshall's getting up there. Could choose health. We are at 30, but we do have a son, so we're fine. That will become zealous. Point commander decline. Man, they always want me to be a commander. I'm just so good at leading troops. Alright, so let's see. Where's our men? Where are you, Holy Roman Emperor? Got the retinue of Holland. There they are. 13,000 against 11,000. I don't know if they'd be able to win a fight. Of course, you could siege down the holdings that have like no levy, like the Troy is, but that he's already sieged down before, but no, he's not gonna do that. That'd be too smart. Renew Jihad. Interesting, it's not the uh, Crusade that happened first. Oh, but the uh, Castile has been. 
doing well down in the south. Actually, let's look at the world a little bit. Hungary is doing well. Expanding into... What is this? Khamenea. Seljuks are doing pretty well. Fatimids are falling apart to the Nubians. Ooh, the Nubians. Nice job. They took a... They took the bottom of a... What's this? What's this duchy? Duchy is a duchy of Aswan. Interesting. The House of Islam was under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in Africa. In response, His Magnificence Caliph Abu Mansur al Nazir has declared that a renew era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The Western religions of the Western regions of the Ummah must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim men should be prepared to join the ranks of the Muhadin, Mujahideen. For the upcoming struggles, this signals a renewed era of Islamic expansion. Disturbing news. Who's this? Nope, nope, they're gone. Okay. So it's the, uh, which caliph was it that just called that? I think it was the Sunni caliph, who isn't the emperor of the Seljuks, I believe. I think the Seljuk emperor is just a sultan. Sultan, yeah. But he has as a vassal? The, uh, Caliph or something? If I remember correctly about the start date. I'm not seeing a Caliph. Nope. Interesting. Anyway, let's continue letting time go by. We have some money banked. Good. You still want to... No, we don't want you... You're the Duke of Corinthia, but you have land over here. Not cool. And we have two sons. Let's see how our sons, our son, uh, second son looks. Oh, he's just a regular dude. Too bad. Chancellor, let's go with you. And you will have relations with the Duchess of Holland. Sure, crack down on the criminals. But yeah, we're kind of in the trap of the uh, second episode. Just kind of waiting for a claim. We could declare independence, but then we just have to wait for a claim on uh, Genevieve. Genevieve. Because that would be my next move. So, I mean, it's kind of just waiting for a claim either way. Unfortunately, that's kind of the... what we're relegated to at the moment. But anyway... Klein. The Holy Roman Emperor is still elective, correct? Agnatic elective, okay. What do you have? Foot of a saint. Movement speed, nice. Jihad for Anatolia. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. And probably gonna win. So they're going for this area of the Byzantines. I don't know if the Greeks are gonna be able to fight back. Uh, how about you? You're just a regular kid? No, it's a child. If Greece gets threatened, they will declare a crusade, probably, immediately. For, uh, for Greece, but I don't know about Anatolia. Broke up with them. You have 18,000. Seljuks have... 25,000. Yep, they're definitely gonna win. You're at war with the... Sunni Jihad. Yeah, you're the uh, Caliph and you're, you're his vassal. I don't know why you're in the list. Harm indeed, unfortunately. We got the negative croc on this improving with Holland. So she is probably insulted or something. No? Improved relations plus 20. So would she now join the plot? Where is she? Duchess of Holland, you would now accept a gift to join. Alright, send a gift. Let's see if you join. And a jihad for Africa, the Shia Caliph. Man, things are not going well for the uh, Christians. 
but uh, yeah, welcome them to Lavish Feast, of course. And then since she will hopefully be joining, right? She still hasn't joined. I'm disappointed. So we just sent her 60 gold for nothing. King of Bohemia. 115 gold? I don't know if we can afford that. Where's the Duchess of Holland? Where are you? Duchess. I'm sure I'm just missing it. Duchess of Holland. There we are. And she will not join me anymore. Opinion, political concerns, base reluctance. Dang it. It lied to me. Sent her a gift. Like, she she was like, yeah, I'll join you. Sent her 60 gold. Nothing. Alright, well. Let's keep improving relations with her. Hopefully she'll join eventually. I think that's our best chance. I mean, we could fabricate claims, but it's just so unlikely. 3% yearly? Well, this is a 12%. Yeah, it's just so much better. It's four times the chance. Meanwhile, while all these crusades are going, we're just, uh, you know, going to war for a uh, tributary, make France a tributary. Sicily. So Sicily is the one who took, uh, he took Tunis, and that set off the crusades. King Bohemond the Monster of Sicily. Recently donated to charity. Finger of St. John, interesting. Learning plus one, nice. But you have 8,000 troops. The Fatimids have 15,000, so you're probably going to lose that land. And you're already losing this war. Yep. It's going to be two successful jihads. Good idea, you should arrange it. Yes, absolutely, search for the rare artifact. There's some really cool artifacts in this game. I looked them up on the uh, CK2 wiki, and it is. There are some super powerful ones. Especially for the uh, Christians. There's like the Shroud of Jesus or something. There's some great ones. I forget what, exactly what they are, but. And there were some cool Jewish ones, but we didn't get them in our Jewish campaign, which is unfortunate. But hey, there we go. Good job, Castile. Getting more land for the uh, for the Catholics, for the Christians. Aragon's doing pretty well, and you are under Navarra. So the Duchy of Barcelona is underneath Navarra. Interesting. Usually they're under Aragon, but whatever. Who's Zavrid? Oh, you're the... Oh, you're, you're an emperor, but you're not a caliph. Hmm, interesting. Meanwhile, Poland's doing well. You know, just being Poland. And, uh... Let's see what the government form looks like. People are starting to switch to feudal over here. Soon that'll be a pretty powerful area. In the future, but for now it's pretty weak. We'll see if the Slavic faith can uh, reform. Usually they're the only ones that can, out of the different ones. Are we finally going to make them pay tribute? No. This will be fun. Let the best four lords win. Use their center troops as reserve for our now pressured side flanks. Yeah. <laughs> we always lose. Jeez. It's pretty funny. Anyway. I like that event chain. No matter what happens, you seem to always lose and then just smash the table and flip the ta flip the board. It's pretty great. So you are definitely lo losing this war. How are you doing, Mr. Byzantine Emperor? You do have a lot of... Uh... A lot of troops still, so they haven't wiped you out. You have a lot less troops since you died. I mean, you're the Seljuk Empire. Hmm. Maybe the uh, Byzantines will survive after all. 
And if I was a Byzantine, but the AI won't, the uh, I would immediately go on a counter war for like Aleppo or something as soon as we were done beating them back. But anyway, unlikely to happen. That, of course, requires that they win in the first place. But they do have more troops. Ugh, I want this claim. Dang it. Yeah, we'll hope to become just. Unfortunately, we did not. We are gregarious now, so diplomacy's up. Let's see what our uh, plot looks like now. Okay. A lot of no's. 30% the Duchess has fallen still. Dang it. She's a lunatic. <laughs> Who else has a pl high plot power? Duke of Lombardy. Okay. It's really just a powerful dukes. Come on, we'd be such a better Duke of Upper Bavaria. We'd get this land back, we'd be... Ah, oh, we'd be so great. Decline. We're brave now, nice. And that immediately gave us the cool address. Nice. I Meanwhile, our, our liege is wholly incompetent at winning this war. He says, as the war ends. Oh, it's because the liege died. Okay. Well. Kaiser of the Holy Roman Emperor, Duchy of Colm. Okay. Interesting. You have one province. County of Cleve. Interesting. So let's see what our plot looks like now. Would the Holy Roman Emperor want to be our friend? No. Dang it. When you had a wielded weapon with your non dominant hand, 29% chance of you failing at your weapon practice, 29%. Ever since I lost my dominant hand, the instant I have been laughing stuck with the sparring ring, some parts of me feel that I should just give up, that my time would be better spent elsewhere, learning that should not however should not account to be able to defend himself 29 percent of failing horribly and get injured yeah we'll take the risk sure what are these why are there two perfect 60 percent chance oh okay so it's like you only have 75 percent of that plot power you have less chance all right. In fact, let's switch to intrigue. Haha! -ha! We got martially ambidextrous. Martial plus one. Very good. Okay. You are in the war against the Shia Caliph. So it looks like the uh, we got called in against the. Uh, to defend Sicily. Good. It's much better than just fighting France to make them pay tribute. Message to appoint counselor. Yeah, we'll be a steward. I think that'll give us more pot power. Okay, let's see. We're at 54% with that. Is there anyone that would take a bribe? No. Dang it. Duke of Provence, no, Duke of Austria. Haha, <laughs> they lost. That's great. Duke of Lombardy. And the stupid Duchess. And you're like really far from helping me. Why are you, I thought you'd like me by now. Minus three. Why is it minus two now? You see, plus 20. We keep improving relations with, like, the bishops. Let me guess. You like me a lot now. Otto. No? No, no, no. I'm so confused. Anyway. Doesn't matter. We'll just wait. See what happens. Hopefully we'll get a... Here, let's just... Yeah. 
Let's see, we do have a better German uh, Chancellor, so we'll choose him. And you will improve relations with the Duke of Lombardy. See if that works any better. And since we have 50%, that 24% will almost get us over the threshold. And then plus the Duchess of Holland, we get... Okay. Whoa! What's this revolt for? League Independence War from the Italians. Interesting. Well, the Italians and the Savoyards. I guess they're Italian, yeah. Probably gonna lose this. I mean, we have... Okay, never mind. We have 5,000 men. Probably from fighting the Shias. And these guys have... 10,000. Well, say uh, say goodbye to uh, Italian lands. Gonna have to fight for them back eventually. But we are over time. So, fortunately, we didn't make much progress on fabricating that claim, but next episode, hopefully, we will. But, uh, but yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe. It's a new series. It really helps to make the channel grow. Uh, thank you guys for watching.